Welcome back to our series of insights on network transformation and 5G with Dan Rodriguez, who is Corporate Vice President and General Manager of the Network Platforms Group at Intel. Dan, let's talk core networks and particularly the user plane function. 5G core is fundamental to the successful evolution of cellular. Why is that? When you think about the rollout of 5G, this has started, of course, with the 5G access network, really a new 5G radio, and taps into an LT virtualized core network. But to truly reap the benefits of a 5G network and deliver all sorts of new innovative services, the comm service providers must move to a 5G standalone core. This standalone core is designed with to roll out new services, and to roll out new services in a very quick time fashion. Furthermore, these networks are going to be designed really from the ground up to be cloud ready and support cloud native like architectures, really, in, again, enabling speed and ease of use for comm service providers. And what is Intel doing to help the industry realize this new cloud native opportunity? Intel is, of course, going to continue to partner with the overall ecosystem, really investing in a wide variety of open source and standards activities. Of course, we're going to continue to invest in many different packet processing frameworks, whether it's DBDK or FDIO, but we're also supporting work with the CNCF Foundation to be able to ensure that people can deploy microservices in a very efficient manner. In fact, we've had a lot of success in really building out uh, the core network really with virtualized solutions and then later heading towards cloud native solutions. Now the 5G core requires significant performance in order to meet the required throughput and bandwidth needs. What is your solution for this? You're right. The 5G core network definitely requires the core network to be able to really drive a lot of overall throughput. Now Intel, of course, will continue to innovate in our Xeon processors as well as innovate through, through software uh, development kits. But we're also partnering directly with the ecosystem to really partner and help them tune their user plane function stack to be able to get the most out of Intel's hardware as well as software. And in fact, we've recently been able to demonstrate with one of our partners over 1.3 terabits per second in a 4U dense form factor utilizing our Intel Xeon 6230N SKU. This is quite an achievement. It shows what the capabilities are utilizing an Intel-based general purpose server. So how is Intel's portfolio evolving to support this ongoing opportunity? Well, of course, we're going to continue to really innovate and invest in all sorts of open source software development kits, as we just talked about. But really at the heart of our business, of course, is silicon and our Xeon scalable processor is a great fit for core networks. And we recently just introduced new SKUs of our Cascade Lake product to deliver up to 36% more performance compared to our prior generation and over 42% more performance per dollar versus prior generation. So we believe, we believe these products will be a great fit for the overall core network. But in addition to this, we also make many innovations in platform level ingredients. This includes Ethernet. For example, the product we recently introduced, the Intel 800 series Ethernet adapter, support critical technologies such as DDP that'd be able to support efficient packet handling as it goes to and from the processors. In addition to this, we have a host of FPGAs that can support all sorts of algorithms uh, to be able to support core network functions in the future. Great, Dan, thanks very much indeed for joining us again. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Pleasure talking with you today.